going on everyone? It's Bales and welcome back to another AFL Fantasy Daily News Recap. It is Wednesday the 5th of April and we have Thursday teams and not really too much else actually outside of that. So let's get through the Thursday teams and what has happened for that game. Uh, Brisbane Lions versus the Collingwood Football Club at the Gabba. Jackson Price only in for Brisbane and Darcy Fort has been dropped and Noah Answorth has been uh, omitted as the sub. Reef McInnes comes into the side for Collingwood for the injured Darcy Cameron and Josh Carmichael's out, who was the sub as well last week. So into, there's not too many relevant players in this game. So obviously you've got like your Darcy Wilmot and Connor McKenna in the back line. They're both down the halfback flank. Nick Dacos is named in the midfield. So we'll see if that comes to pass. I know uh, uh, Craig McRae has named a couple of players uh, different positions and that's not where they've played because Ash Johnson's named the ruck. So we'll see if he becomes the ruck tomorrow night. Josh Dunkley named in the middle as well. So that's probably really about it, I think. So uh, Willis Croft is named on a wing as well. That's probably the other one. So, yeah, not too much is going on there. There's been rumours as well that Oleg Markov is going to be the sub for Collingwood. I'm not sure who the sub would be for Brisbane. Maybe a Harry Sharp, potentially, who's named the emergencies. He seems like the logical fit there. Maybe a Devin Robertson and a Kai Cogger too could also be that as well. So they're the teams. Not too much uh, in that. So in terms of just some other little quick notes from today... Not too much, but uh, Will Setterfield uh, reported by Mitch Cleary that he was on light duties today and his quad was strapped. So be, just keep just keep an eye. I think he'll be fine. He played last week and looked okay. It said injured on the app. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but I think he'll be fine. So I'm not too worried about Will Setterfield. I think he'll play, but just want to keep an eye. A um, little bit like uh, sort of like LDU. Just keep an eye and see if he gets a name tomorrow. Sam Walsh uh, is in full training at the moment, so uh, looks to. Uh, be back hopefully within the next few weeks so we'll see when he comes back and co- uh, can't make a decision on that so he, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets named tomorrow to be honest like he's Sam Walsh sort of player that gets named but I think it'll be next week or the week after that we see him potentially be named there Matthew Johnson looks like he'll come into the starting 22 for Frio so he's an option probably to wait a week because he had a low score last week obviously being the sub but should uh, maybe get into the 22 so that's a good sign Aaron Cadman, uh, Adam Kingy said less likely than likely. So, uh, But the one we're interested in is Josh Fay. So hopefully he gets named tomorrow's defender mid 200k. Had a big game in the VFL on the weekend. Had like 40 disposals and 10 marks or something like something crazy like that. So we'll see if he gets that. Alex Chincott is also the other one we want to get named tomorrow night. Fingers crossed that either of those guys get named. And then probably only last thing of news as well is that Justin Longmuir said that the Luke Jackson midfield experiment is going to continue, which is a good news for Sean Darcy owners. So it looks like Luke Jackson will be that hybrid midfielder forward and then also pinch hit the ruck. So I think Darcy will still have that 80% and that line share of the ruck, which is good news. I'm a Darcy, Sean Darcy owner as well. So um, good news for me and all these uh, owners out there. And if you're looking um, for a replacement from Darcy Cameron, then I think Sean Darcy is not a bad option. So yeah, one to consider. So Anyway, that's pretty much it. Short one today, but let me know your thoughts on any of the uh, news that's going around here. Let me know any other questions, stuff. Put them in the comments below. I'll get to those. Check out the Trade Talk video that went up earlier today. So plenty of support on that video already. Appreciate that. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed the content and the other video. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We continue to build our subscribe base, and I appreciate everyone. And then turn notifications on so you miss when I go live or upload any other content in the future. All my social media links in the description below. Make sure you go and follow all of those and hit me up with any questions there or as I said in the comments below. So I won't be back until uh, probably Friday afternoon when we, I think we'll be doing a watch along for the Carlton North Melbourne Good Friday game. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below if you want to see that and I might be able to make that happen. So until then, I'll catch you guys then. I'm out. Cheers. Cheers.